Have you ever found yourself questioning the very essence of your existence? This query, while unsettling, paves the way to the exploration of a profound spiritual journey known as the Dark Knight of the Soul. This journey is not one of physicality or tangibility, but an internal voyage that fundamentally changes the core of our ego and our self-concept. The Dark Knight of the Soul is a phase of deep transformation. It's a time when we find ourselves standing at the precipice of our understanding, peering into the abyss of the unknown. Imagine the beliefs that have shaped your identity being questioned, the foundation of your understanding pushed to their limits. Now, this might sound terrifying. After all, who are we without our well-established beliefs? But it's within this chaos, this dismantling, that an opportunity for growth and evolution awaits us. Why, you might ask? It's because this process is designed to elevate our consciousness to a higher plane. The Dark Knight of the Soul serves as the catalyst for this shift, forcing us to confront the aspects of our ego that we hold dear. But to facilitate this restructuring, we must undergo a significant ego death, a critical aspect of this journey. But what does an ego death imply? It signifies the letting go of belief systems that once constituted our identity, belief systems that provided a sense of security and self-concept. This process is by no means easy. It's akin to removing a protective shell, leaving us vulnerable and exposed. It's through this vulnerability that we begin to perceive ourselves and the world around us from a fresh perspective. The Dark Knight of the Soul is a sacred journey, a rite of passage that brings us closer to our true selves. It's a journey into the shadows of our existence, a deep dive into the recesses of our psyche. And while it can be an unsettling experience, remember, it's in the shadows that we often find the most profound lessons and the most illuminating truths. So, next time you find yourself questioning the essence of your existence, remember, you're not lost. You're on a journey. A journey that will bring you closer to your true self. Why does the ego resist change so fiercely? A question that may have crossed your mind on occasion the ego, our sense of selfhood, consists of numerous beliefs, akin to bricks forming walls of identity, offering security and a sense of stability. It clings to these constructs for a sense of familiarity and safety. But when these beliefs are challenged, a torrent of introspection is unleashed. It's akin to a storm battering against our identity testing our belief system. This is the introduction to the Dark Knight of the Soul, an experience designed to shatter the ego's resistance and force surrender. It's a crucial tool of the self used to induce change. It's a paradox where the ego's unwillingness to release signals an impending transformation. The resistance is not a sign of fear, but a testament to the strength of our beliefs, the structures that have represented us. The Dark Knight of the Soul dismantles these constructs bit by bit, a process of creation through destruction. A new self is being molded in the furnace of metamorphosis. The ego's resistance indicates a looming transformation. This process is akin to a caterpillar resisting the cocoon unaware that it's the key to becoming a butterfly. The Dark Knight of the Soul is this cocoon, a stage of transformative of evil, challenging the very foundation of our ego and sense of self. The ego's resistance is a testament to the profound transformation that is about to unfold. What happens when our beliefs start to crumble? 
Imagine standing on the edge of a vast abyss, the world you knew and understood suddenly dissolving beneath your feet. This is the discomfort the ego experiences when entering the void during the dark night of the soul. The void is a state of profound uncertainty, a place where our usual anchors of identity and understanding no longer hold sway. It's a place of not knowing where our Familiar reference points are stripped away, leaving us feeling untethered and adrift. The ego, which thrives on predictability and structure, finds this state deeply unsettling. It's like being plunged into an ocean of darkness, deprived of sight, sound, and direction. The ego's discomfort arises from its inherent need to know, to understand, and to control. But in the void, there are no easy answers, no clear paths. It's a realm of pure potentiality, where nothing is fixed or defined. The ego is like a traveler without a map, wandering in an unfamiliar landscape shrouded in fog. The more it tries to grasp at certainties, the more elusive they become. This discomfort, however, is not a punishment or a sign of failure. It's a necessary part of the journey, a crucible of transformation. The ego must learn to let go its need for control, to surrender to the unknowable. It's a process of unlearning, of stripping away layers of conditioning and belief that no longer serve us. As our self-concept starts to unravel, we may feel vulnerable and exposed. But this is where the magic happens. In the void, we are free to explore, to question, to grow. It's a place of raw honesty where we confront our deepest fears and desires. It's where we learn to listen to our inner wisdom, to trust our intuition. The discomfort of the void is temporary, but the transformation it catalyzes is profound and lasting. Embrace the void and let it shape you into a more authentic, resilient, and spiritually attuned version of yourself. Is the dark night of the soul a one-off event? This question is one that many spiritual seekers grapple with. The simple answer is no. The dark night of the soul is not a singular experience, but rather it's a recurring phenomenon that presents itself in various intensities as we progress through our higher states of consciousness. Think of it as a spiral staircase. Each step represents a new level of awareness, a new level of growth. And with each step comes a new dark night. However, with every iteration, these experiences foster growth and a deeper ability to surrender. It's a process of constant evolution, a cycle of shedding and rebirth. The dark nights are the universe's way of nudging us forward, of pushing us to peel back the layers of our ego, to question our belief systems, and to confront the parts of ourselves we've been avoiding. There are opportunities for us to step into our truth and authenticity, to surrender our old selves and to embrace the new. It's important to note that these subsequent experiences are usually less severe, but as we ascend, we become more adept at navigating the terrain. Each dark night teaches us something new about ourselves. It reveals parts of our psyche that were previously hidden brings to light our innermost fears and desires, and encourages us to question our preconceived notions about the world. So we must remember that each dark night is an opportunity for growth. It's a chance for us to delve deeper into our consciousness, to uncover our true selves, and to align with our higher purpose. What is the gift the dark night of the soul brings? The dark night of the soul is indeed a transformative journey, one that gifts us with resilience, wisdom, and a deeper ability to surrender. But how does this happen? 
It stretches us beyond our comfort zone, pushes us to confront and resolve the paradoxes of our existence. It is through this intense process that we grow stronger and wiser. Resilience is born from the ashes of adversity. As we traverse the dark night, we face various challenges that test our spirit and resolve. We grapple with our deepest fears, confront our inner demons, and question our long-held beliefs. This is not an easy process, yet it is through these trials that we develop resilience, the ability to bounce back from adversity, to endure in the face of hardship. Wisdom, too, is a gift of the dark night of the soul. As we journey through the void, we gain insight into the nature of reality and our place within it. We begin to see the world not as a series of isolated events, but as a complex web of interconnections. We realize that our actions have consequences, that our thoughts shape our reality, and that our inner state of being reflects onto the world around us. This wisdom, once gained, becomes a guiding light on our path, illuminating our way forward. And then there's the gift of surrender. The dark night of the soul teaches us the art of letting go, of releasing our grip on the familiar and stepping into the unknown. It shows us that surrender is not a sign of weakness, but a testament to our strength. It's about embracing the uncertainty, trusting the process, and allowing ourselves to be guided by the wisdom of our higher self. I hope this deep dive into the dark night of the soul has helped you on your spiritual journey. I love you. Namaste.